Hi there, I'm Miriam and welcome to Miriam's Manor. So today I have another storage video for you guys. I will be showing you how I store my Christmas Village platforms, bases, and mountains that I make every year for my Christmas Village. I have received a lot of questions from you guys asking, do you keep them? Do you trash them? Where do you store them? Are they stackable? How do I take care of them? So I wanted to answer your questions today in this video and show you my process on how I treat a regular simple base and then a base that I'd spend a little bit more money on making and a little bit more time on making. So I am here in my guest bedroom closet upstairs. This is where I store all of my Christmas decor that I put upstairs and also all of my bases and platforms and mountains. So let's go ahead and get started and I will show you my process. So let's start with this ski mountain that I made for 2020 Christmas Village. I am putting this one and leaving it on my top shelf. I'm not going to cover it, but I don't stack this one because it's odd shaped and it has a lot of poles and different things on it. So I just put it on a shelf and leave it as is. So next, let's look at some flat bases. Now, if you guys have made any type of base that has a flat surface on it like this one, feel free to stack other bases on top of it. If you have secured the top of your base down with either some Woodland Scenic Scenic Cement, with glue, with hairspray, whatever you choose to use, um, if that top, if the ground cover is secure on top, you can stack these things all day long. I've stacked so many in the past. This one is three years old and I have stacked on this one every single year and it's still in really good shape. And I have never actually topped this thing off with new snow. So you can still see that it's doing really well after three years. To protect it even further, you can always lay a layer of bubble wrap on top of the flat surface before you add another platform on top of it. Now let's talk about how do we store our lakes that we've built with our waterfalls this year. If you use the product from Woodland Scenics, the realistic water, you never want to put anything on top of this surface that you don't want to be permanent. It will affix itself to whatever you put on there and it will damage it if you try to remove it. Also, be mindful if you have a waterfall of how you are moving and swaying this when you go to store it so that you don't shift this uh, waterfall where it is attached. I will just store this piece by putting it on the floor, not putting anything on top of it, and I don't cover it either. You can, I suppose if you want it to with the sheet, you would just need to make sure that it doesn't touch the water at all. Also, I've never stored my pieces in a garage where it is exposed to the elements because I know that if the weather is too cold, the realistic water will have a reaction with the cold weather under 32 degrees Fahrenheit. So just be mindful and make sure you read the instructions for temperature if you are planning to store in a garage. Now this base that's off to the left, I just want to bring to your attention. It does have realistic water in it as well as some retaining walls with some little lamp posts on top of it. So I do not want to stack anything on top of this base. If I do stack this base, this will be the last piece on top of a stack that I've already created. Also, I will never stack this piece vertically because it has realistic water in it and over time it can start to slide and move. So any of your pieces that have realistic water in them, you don't want to stack them vertically. You want to leave them flat. So this is a piece that I made two years ago for my business district. This is just styrofoam and some ground cover on the last two layers. And since this ground cover is completely secure, you can see, I actually store this piece vertically to make more room for my other pieces. So I don't even take the lights out. I leave the lights in it every single year so I don't have to restring it. And I just pick it upright and lean it up against the wall. So I just gently tuck my cords underneath the base and I'm going to give you guys a side view because there is room from the side of this base to the wall. So some of my smaller pieces that are only styrofoam with no ground cover on them, I'll slide in between this space. 
This is my town square piece that I used in my 2020 Christmas Village. This space is three years old. I took a lot of stuff off of it, as you can see, because I'm going to revamp it for next year. But for now, I'm just going to slide it right behind this large piece that's my business district platform. So now that the town square is all packed away behind the business district, I'm just going to take these two smaller pieces here and then just squeeze them in on the side because there's still plenty of room to add them in. So all of my bases that I'm keeping this year are now all packed and put away. You can see off to the left that I added the legs to my children's tables for their Christmas village in front of the bases. That way this will help it all stay nice and neat and in order. And then all I have to do is move their tabletops in this little area right here and then I will almost be done. So I have slid in my children's tabletops to their Christmas Village tables right here. And now all I have to do is go get my big mountain because I have left space for it on the floor right here and this is where I will store it. All right guys. So I have a little problem. My mountain is too large to fit through my bedroom door to get it down here. When I made it and measured it out, I measured it with my downstairs doors, which it fit through. And apparently my upstairs door is more narrow. So I am not able to house this large mountain in my storage closet that I made the perfect space for right behind me here. So I am going to have to be right back because now I have to come up with a plan B. So none of the closets in my house can house this thing currently. I will have to see if I can rearrange some things to make some room for this downstairs. In the meantime, I am going to leave this put up. My children will be super happy. They weren't ready for their villages to come down. So I'm going to leave this upstairs in their play space right next to their little kitchen and put the houses back on it, light it up, and let them enjoy it a little bit longer. So thank you guys so much for hanging out with me today. Even through my little mishap with my mountain, the next time I build a platform, I'm going to make sure to measure this door so that I know it'll fit in this space here. Um, I built that piece to keep long term. I am so in love with it, but I might have to end up selling it because I'm not entirely pleased with my plan B solution to keep it displayed long term. It'll work for now, but we'll see going forward. Um, so my upcoming videos that I have coming up, I am still working on that village platform. It is on pause because one of my subscribers decided to surprise me with a special gift for the zoo and I don't even know what it is yet. It actually should be arriving today. So I wanna make sure whatever it is that I can incorporate it into the zoo long term. So I put it on pause once I found out and I haven't worked on it since so that I make sure that um, the zoo can permanently house such a special gesture and a gift that I will receive with gladness. So thank you very much. And that video should be done in about two weeks. And um, I will have that released as soon as I get that one done. I also have another garden video that I'm going to be doing because the seeds that I planted a couple of, uh, about a week ago, the little seedling babies are growing so beautifully underneath the grow lamp and I'm so excited. So I'm gonna do a uh, video to show you guys the progress of how those are coming along and then I will be getting into my springtime videos. So that's all I have for now. Don't forget to share and subscribe to the channel. Please give me a big thumbs up and click on that notification bell. And until I see you guys again, please stay safe. God bless you. And I hope to see you back really soon. Bye.